Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of TerraTech. And on this episode, we are literally continuing where we left off because we're still going through the tutorial. Now you can see it's telling me that I need to pick it up and put it on the ground, uh, the fabricator, so that I can anchor it. So we're going to do that real quick. Uh, you need to anchor it onto something that actually anchors to the ground. Uh, conveyor somewhere. Uh, yeah, we've already done all that. Uh, it's going to give us another one. So we'll put that on there. And then we also get... This thing right here, which is fairly cool, I think that dropped literally right on top of us. Let's pick that up. And another way to kind of save yourself some space, guys, is not to do the tutorial to its full extent until you found a place to put this down. The last thing you want to do is put this down somewhere and run away because it's not, I guarantee you guys, not going to be there when you get back. They will destroy it. It's, uh, it's almost a certainty that that is going to happen. And when I say almost a certainty, I mean guaranteed. Uh, I've done that so many times on these uh, these playthroughs, and on the earlier ones, you could get away with that. On these new ones, no, not even remotely. So hang on to the pieces, and make sure you don't... Oh, there we go. You're dead, punk. Why, wow, he didn't take very much at all. Let's pick this up. I don't know where we're going to put this thing. Our, we don't have nearly enough blocks to do the design that we kind of want to do. Uh, I guess we'll have to put this here. I need it to protect the pieces from the uh, the firing from the enemies that we're fighting so ideally I would put more here in the back to protect the back of it but right now uh, this early on until we can get a, uh, a little spot where I can put all this stuff down this is gonna be the best design that we have going for us right now uh, you got the refinery again when you're ready uh, you anchor the refinery before it's still functional let's put that down yeah 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 you know about all this stuff Come on. There we go. Another piece. Ugh, this is not this is not ideal. Let's put this here. Yeah, we're gonna wait on that. We're gonna kill this guy. Give me some pieces. Give me some pieces. Oh no. Come on, I want your blocks. Oh no, is it gonna blow up? It might, no? It, it should still survive. Yeah, okay, it's gonna survive. Now the way to know if it's going to blow up is the fastest uh, or the faster it's blinking, it will get to the point where it looks like it's going to just uh, detonate at any second. And when it gets to that point, you don't want to pick it up and you definitely don't want it anywhere near your base or your bot because it's about to explode and when it explodes, it does a fair bit of damage. Obviously, the cab does far more damage, but every block does a little bit of damage. And so if it's about to explode, stay away from it unless of course you already have repair bubbles going on your bot. If you have that kind of thing going, you can throw it on your bot real quick and it will actually heal it up fairly uh, fairly quickly. Where uh, There's a question mark on the map. I believe that is our airplane. But we're not going to get that yet. Not just yet. We need... Because you can't take off with your base with that. You actually have to take your cab out of your bot and put it on your airplane until you can buy another one. And we haven't gotten the uh, the payload terminal yet. I think it's probably over here in this direction. It's usually one of the first pieces I get, but this time, uh, we just haven't had that luck. Let's see, can we kill this guy without destroying everything? Oh, no, you can see right there. It's about to explode, so we missed out on that. There is a weapon here. I'm going to pick that sucker up. Blow up! There we go. And we got some bigger wheels, yes. Now, the bigger the wheels, the faster you're going to go, and the less you'll get bogged down on the, uh, the planes here. You gotta remember everything has weight and the more weight you add to your bot the more your wheels have to carry and they do have a load limit uh, after they get to that limit there's just not much more you can do about it uh, and without getting better wheels so if you come over here you'll see this green stuff right here these green crystals these are worth quite a bit of uh, of money and they actually are used for quite uh, you know a good bit of things as well as well so you get the uh, rudeite shard Rudeite emits a powerful sensor energy. It's almost as if some level of consciousness of its own. It can be used in the fabricator of items that require sensors or some level of AI. Uh, so you can drag it over here, or you can pick it up with your, your little pad if you want. And uh, I don't think it's going to make anything out of it. Yeah, it needs, uh, it needs something else because it's not refined yet. If I move it over here, it might go ahead and refine the pieces, and then maybe it can make something out of that. I don't know all the recipes. I know one of our users was kind enough to put all that down there. Uh, like I said, I just haven't experimented with it and I haven't memorized all of the the different things that you can do with this. Wood, on the other hand, is not used for any recipe that I know of. Crap, 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 where are you? 
Uh, you're a little bit bigger. They're getting a little bit bigger, guys, which means I can get more blocks from them when I destroy them. But that means they also usually have more weapons. So keep that in mind again, guys. Weapons are bad. <laughs> Come on, blow them up. There we go. I'm uh, going to pick that up. Get it out of there. Yeah, I lost one. This is not too bad. Let's see. I'm going to put some more over here just to give it a little bit more even uh, weight distribution. We've got some better wills, so let's put that on. Uh, we've got another one? No. Just just one good will? <laughs> that sucks. Okay. We do have some better weapons. At least one of them anyways. And these tractor pads, they drop fairly often, so it's up to you whether you want to pick up a whole bunch of them or not. Uh, I tend to, or I tended to actually pick up every single one that I found. Nowadays, not so much because I realize they're just not worth it, in my opinion. They, they weigh too much, and they don't really do as much as, like I said, the conveyor belts do. And the conveyor belts really aren't that much more for the price. So ideally, I would say go ahead and have one tractor pad to pick this stuff up off the ground easier, and then just have a whole bunch of conveyor belts in there to kind of shuffle things back and forth and carry the weight for you from the resources that won't bog your, your bot down. And if you do like a, a pickup truck kind of design, uh, is there nothing over here? No, there's somebody over here. There is a bot, and I bet you he has one of my pieces. Ah, uh, here's another one. Man, he spawned right over here now. Make sure you always kill the guy who spawns, otherwise you're going to regret it. And that's what he's there for. He's there to make you regret your decision of, of being lazy uh, and not destroying him when you had the chance because you will regret that fairly quickly uh how are we gonna do this hmm i guess we can go out a little bit more it's not really gonna be ideal but for now i guess that's gonna be okay and we do got a better will so let's put those on uh we got another radar unit i kind of want to pick up the radar unit because they are very very common but at the same time uh, you can get those destroyed rather easily as well. So let's go ahead and pick that up. It's a little bit extra weight, but I think we can handle it. What about over here? Thumb uh, we got another wheel. Yes. Okay, we'll go ahead and replace this one. Uh, put that on there. Now, if you know, if you know that you're going to be uh, going off and getting a whole bunch of more blocks, and you just happen to go against an enemy that drops like 15 wheels but no blocks, you can pick up the wheels and save them. It's I've done that before and. You'll use them later on. Wheels are not always easy to get. Blocks are not always easy to get. And then at other times, they're super easy to get. So it's just depending on the bot that you're going after and how many weapons you have. There we go. Yes. Sniped from afar. I'm getting so good at this game. Come on. And now I'm going to get I'm gonna get spanked because I just got... Ah, back up, back up, back up. Yeah, you don't ever want to get overconfident in this game. The moment you say you're doing well, they're going to throw something at you. I mean, they, could, they used to... When this game uh, first started coming out, they used to throw invaders at you. And for those of you who have not seen invaders, they are nasty. They're player-made. Actually, almost everything in here this game is uh, a player-made design. But they're usually really, really big, and they're they're really tough. And they will just wipe the floor with me, with you if you let them uh, in for even half a second. And if you're not ready for it, uh, you're not going to survive. You're just nuts. Nah, no way you're going to survive that. So uh, we're going to hold off on getting any of those guys for some time because I don't want to deal with that. That's too much. <laughs> it's too much right now. Uh, with our design, no. It would not work very well. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll do this for now. Put that there. Hmm. That does not look good at all. Let's move this over here. Yeah, that's a little bit better. At least it's, uh, you know, semi protected a little bit, maybe. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a horrible design all the way around, but not much you can do about it. Okay, now you dealt with the burglar. Yeah, I get it already. We know we know the tutorial. Just skip it. Come on, move up. Nope, I didn't do any damage to my bot. I'm getting, I'm getting jinxed here because I was going to say I'm getting good. Let's see, we need to find a nice spot. A nice spot to put down our roots somewhere that we have elevation because if you have ele elevation it may be a bit harder for you to get up there but it also makes the enemy's uh, weapons kind of shoot over your base when they're sitting on the side of a mountain if you're in a crevasse it definitely would you would assume that it would be easier for the enemy to kind of miss you because you're lower in the ground but it doesn't work that way they know exactly where you are at all the time I don't really like being over here this close to the desert uh, because the venture blocks will come over here but I don't know this might be a good spot 
No, you know what? We're going to go over to where the airplane is. Yes. Yes, you will be mine. Come on, move it, baby. Move. Uh, was it in this direction? I think it was. I'm waiting for it to show up on the map again. you got to get pretty close. The radar is not the strongest one in the world. I do hope they eventually add more different types of radar. Right now, there's only the GSO kind that I'm aware of. There's no Venture one, and there's no... Yeah, here we go. We're getting closer. There's no uh, GeoCore one. The GeoCore one would be freaking huge if they had one and be pretty amazing. So I think that would be pretty cool if they did it. Uh, but they haven't done that yet, so... Let's see, where do we want to put this? Maybe up here on this one? Yeah, up here on this. This is going to be nice. This is going to be a nice base. Protected by trees. Yes. Okay, so let's move this around. We're going to put this down because that's what they want us to do. At least one of the things they want us to do. We'll put this down as well. Let's see, we're going to repair our stuff just in case. Don't really need to put these things down for the tutorial, but we're going to do it anyways. Uh, we're going to put down this, yeah. Now... I want this down here, but I don't want it attached to this. This thing right here, which you can't even see, will sell all the items to, uh, you know, whatever it is, uh, the corporation or whatever. You can't make stuff with that if it's selling. So we're going to hold off with putting that close by. In fact, I guess we're going to move this a little closer because I don't want it too far away from a repair bubble at the moment. Let's see. This is, what it was this? I hate it how it puts it over there on the, that little side. It's a refinery. And this is a two-slot fabricator. Okay. So we want the two-slot fabricator over here by the refinery. We definitely want one of these things on each side of it so that it can kind of move back and forth. There we go. We will put uh, one of these things, which will connect the pieces together if it will allow it. No, it doesn't want to do it. Come on. Attach. Attach. Ah, oh, you suck so bad, guys. Let's move that. Let's move that. We have another one here. We can put this here. Oh, crap. Another guy? Die. Actually, let's get in here and repair. There we go. That is how it's done, guys. Oh, and I almost lost that. So let's put that on there. Come on, attach already. There we go. Now move back. Where did he go? Okay, one's down. And as I can say, they attack so often that if you weren't here, your base would be gone right now. So definitely make sure you keep an eye on that. Don't go too far away from it. Uh, we got some more wheels. So I'll throw this here on the back. And we're going to pick up this. I do want to try a different design here, but I want to get over there to that plane as soon as possible. I don't know if that's the ideal solution to this. Uh, no, I think we're going to protect our base. Yeah, we're going to protect our base. Because otherwise, you know, what's the point? Everything gets destroyed. And you got to start all over, and that's just embarrassing. And and time consuming at that so yeah not not what we want to do let's throw that on there I wonder why we can't attach this to this thing why won't it let us put it on put it on already you stupid ah uh, come on and no it attaches it attaches just fine that's what it's made for oh is this broken is this part of uh, the new patch that it just won't con attach to the uh, yeah it just it will attach to everything else but the uh these uh what do they call them the conveyors that's weird i don't i don't get that at all that was never a thing before uh, maybe i'm looking at it from the wrong angle no i mean it it's it should attach like if it's, if it attaches to that it should attach to that that that's not right that's not what it's supposed to be doing i don't i don't know on that one guys to be honest i don't know why it's doing that let's see where did it go did i lose it <laughs> No, it's underneath it. There it is. Okay, grab it. There we go. Put it right there. I need to move this over here. So at the very least... Oh man, this thing does not want to even attach these, these blocks. Maybe it doesn't like the area. Maybe that's what it is. It just doesn't like the spot that it's in. And that's not attached at all. It's just, uh, you know, it, it anchored itself. There it goes. Now it's attached. Maybe it didn't like the angle that I was looking at it from. There we go. Yeah, it just didn't like the angle for some reason. That's weird. I've never had that, guys. That's that's definitely something new there. Let's see. Uh, what are we going to do here with that? I'm going to leave that there for now. And hopefully we can make some pretty cool stuff. Now, I have seen it where these blocks get stuck in here. And it, it wants to do something with the green ones, but it doesn't have a recipe for it. And so it just leaves that one in there. And it just kind of sucks that you kind of have to actually go in there and remove it yourself so that it will put new stuff in there. 
And let's see, can we put this over here? Nope, it just keeps going back. So we're going to break that off, put it in here. Will it make something out of that? No, I think that's the refined version of it already, which is what? If it stops moving. Uh, it's not going to stop moving. Let's see. Uh, we're going to take this with us for now so we can repair on the go. We're going to put this back here. And we're going to take this with us. We're going to put this down. Yeah, we're going to take this with us so that we can uh, actually... Let's move this. I like to leave one radar unit on my base just so that uh, if anything happens, I can come back and get it uh, because I have lost that several times before. And when you lose it, it really sucks. It really, really does. So let's see. Uh, just regular rock. We can go ahead and re refine some of that. Let's see if we can get any of these other resources. I don't want to go out there in the desert just yet. Uh, what is this rock? Can I pick it up? Come on, pick it up. What does it say it is? Uh, carbonite ore. Actually, actually, we're going to hang on to a little bit of that. I do believe that is refined into something a little bit more useful uh, than just selling. We'll have to see here in a few minutes. Nope, didn't get anything out of that. That's, this is when I need the drill. Really, really need the drill here. Let's come back over here. Oh, stop. Okay, make it into something, guys. Make it into something. Anything. There you go. There you go. Now I'll move this out. Will it do something? Come on. You can do it. No? How about we take that out? See what gets thrown in there with it. Nothing? Nothing. Yeah, it's not going to do anything there. What are you doing? Put that over there. I don't want it over here. Okay, yeah, we're just going to... Now we know we're not going to use that for anything, so we'll just keep, uh, you know, harvesting more of that and make a little bit of cash. These trees, you can sell, but they get so little cash, they're not worth it at all, not even remotely. Uh, let's see, we do get some more ore over here, the red ones and the blue ones. Those are used in quite a bit of uh, different crafting stuff, so we're going to hold on to those, and we're not going to sell that. Come on, blow up. Let's come on, move. Oh, come on. I am not even moving my bot right now. It's moving itself because there's a lot of resources kind of being pushed underneath it. Uh, is he a venture guy? Uh, it doesn't look like a venture guy. You can see my bot is rolling backwards. And if I go into build mode, that might help it a little bit. But usually it gets stuck on the wheels is what it is. And you do need as many wheels as possible. To, if you don't have a lot of wheels, it really sucks to try to get over heels. Ah, oh, crap. I'm going to have to go down there. Okay. Blow up. Blow up already. I want your goodies. Get in my belly. No. <laughs> I'm not going to eat these things. I don't even know. I guess this could be considered eating, right? Because you are picking them up and you are consuming them. Uh, you know what? We're going to... Can we pick it up this way? Dang it. I am so... There's so much crap on the front of my bot that I literally can't even go forward. I am fighting it to not go backwards right now. And it's these two little pieces right here on the front that are trying to push their way back to my conveyor belt, or not my conveyor belt, my tractor pad, that just do not want to let me do anything here. Oh, come on. I could pick it up and move the pieces myself, I guess. There we go. That's so much easier. Just two pieces. That is how weak my, my uh, body is at the moment. Later on, I've had it where I've had like 60 of those pieces at a time. Oh, I can only pick up three. That's right. Dang it. I need to bring... I don't know why I did it in the first place. I'm going to bring a conveyor belt with me. Go, get away. Move. Okay, where is my base? There we go. There we go. So I do I have an extra conveyor belt? I do. Let's, let's get rid of this. Put that over there. And let them make stuff out of that. And I will pick up this conveyor belt. No, that's not the conveyor belt. Actually, I have a little bit of money. Let me see if I can buy another one. Because I can buy any block that I've discovered. So let's see, how much is it? Weapons are really expensive. I would not suggest buying those, but making them. Uh, it's only 500, so let's go ahead and buy two of those. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to hold off on everything else for now. So let's pick that up. We'll put this here and this over here. And the resources, they do stay on the ground for a fair bit of time, not infinite. So they will despawn after a short amount of time as well, depending on how many are there. If there's a lot of resources there, 
They may uh, despawn rather quickly if there's not a whole bunch of resources around. Uh, they may stay there for some time. Let's see, I don't want that guy coming down at me while I'm stuck in here because it will be really hard to hit him. Where he'll have a very, very easy chance. So yeah, when he's firing down, that's exactly what he was trying to do. Blow him up! Die! Yes, is he dead? No, he's still not dead. Almost, there he goes. Blow it! Oh man, he destroyed nearly all his blocks. Okay, what can we do here? I am going to do a spider-like design because I kind of dig coming up with uh, different stuff. I've done this before in the past, but I like the front being like this. It gives me a little bit more for the weapons. And I think this is as far sideways as I'm going to go. And I'm not going to go too far back. I just uh, I want to play around with this design a little bit more. Move up a little bit. Let's see. We need to go out one more. Uh, we have wheels. I'll stick the wheels over here where I can use them. Let's put the tractor pads on. Or not the tractor pads, but the... Uh, uh, the whatchamacallit? <laughs> uh, the radar units. Oh my god, I'm so horrible tonight, guys. Sorry. It's, uh, where am I going to put this? I have no place for these tires. But if you pick them up, you can take them back to your base. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with these lights, actually. Because they're here. Let's put those on. There's one more up here, right? Yeah? Let me grab that. And I don't think I'm going to need that other wheel. Yeah, we're going to leave that other wheel alone. But we will pick up these other resources if we can. Uh, will it pick me up? Pick him up, pick him up. Oh, no. This is what happens when you have these wheels go off to the side. I think I'm going to try a garbage truck design on this one. Uh, just uh, for, for kicks. I mean, I've done so many other designs. Why not? Uh, there's my base over there. And you don't want to stay out here in the desert region for too long. In fact... Nah, we're going to hold off on getting those. We'll come back for those. Let's come over here. If you stay out in the desert region, uh, any region other than the grassland, you have a chance for the invader to spawn. And it's pretty nasty when he does. So like I said before, stay away from that, if at all possible. I am being pushed back constantly. This sucks. Okay, let's put this over here and repair. We will go ahead and... Uh, how am I going to get these things off? I'm too wide already. Ah, I don't know about this design. We may we may change it. <laughs> I've done the I've done the hassle of, of dealing with this stuff. And you can see my solar reactor did not turn on because guess what guys? It's nighttime and it does not turn on in the night because it's powered by the sun. So yeah, it's uh, definitely realistic. It's definitely kind of cool when it does that. Uh, you can see these lights don't really give off too much. Uh, but we're going to put them on just uh, for kicks because it is kind of cool. Let's see. We're going to put some, uh, some tires on these things just to get rid of uh, a little bit of extra weight that we don't necessarily need at this moment. And we can come back and pick them up at our leisure later on. Let's see, what if we take this out? No, still won't let it move. There we go. Something else goes in its place now. Same one. Uh, green. Green, nope, nothing. Still haven't gotten any of the pieces that we need. I think it's the, the whitish pieces that you use the most and pretty much every other combination between them. So we're going to leave that stuff here for now. Uh, these little pieces over here, these resources, are fairly cool. You can see they give off light. So you would imagine that they are used in, uh, you know, making things that actually have light. And you would be right. That's exactly what they're there for. Uh, I don't really like doing those too much because, again, I don't really like making lights. They, they lag out the game quite a bit. And I, I'm not even kidding on that. They lag it out a lot. And they don't really give you anything in return. Like, you can see perfectly fine in the dark now if you couldn't if it was pitch black and you were like hiding at your base with just the, like the bare minimum light that was available to you and you're like okay i'm not i'm not leaving this thing ever uh until the sun comes back up then i would be like okay it's worth it for you to pick that stuff up and and make something from it but it's not that way so i don't know until they do something where it actually is inconvenient for you not to have lights i don't really see a lot of people wasting space because every, every spot on your bot is usually called for already. You can have, uh, you know, weapons on the spots, mortars in the back that, you know, are kind of behind other weapons. You can have armor plating. Yeah, there's so many things you can have on your bot that are very, very useful. Lights, not really one of them. And later on in the game, you get some really, really powerful Geocore lights. And with those alone, uh, it's not, it's not going to pick up anything else until you make some more room. So... I will put this down over here. And let's see if we can get rid of some of this this wood that we really don't need. Now, wood will power your base uh, if you uh, if you have the right pieces for it. I don't right now, so that's 
not a thing. Uh, you can also use this, these resources right here, which will again power your base a little bit more. And you can see that any resource that has been refined is worth more. I'm getting 30 out of these, whereas the ones that aren't refined, I'm getting 10. Nope, put that back. Let's put this over here. Oh, yeah, we took some damage there. Yes, we did. We took quite a bit of damage there. Come on, pick it up. You got space now. I just gave you a whole bunch. Come on. Uh, nope, it does definitely does not want to sell these things for some reason. It, li it likes to keep a hold on them. It does, you can see it right when I pull it away. It actually has, dang it, there we go. It actually has a grip on the stuff. Like, you can see it right here. Uh, actually, it's not gripped onto that one right now. Let's see if I can pull one of these. No? That's still... What about this? I know if I grip the green one. No? Not that one either. <laughs> okay, it's just not going to let me show you guys. Now I need to turn this bot around a little bit. There we go. Woo, baby! Took some damage there. Oh. that That's that's not good. It's a good thing we're getting it healed up, though. That's, that's for sure. Okay, so that didn't take too long. Now, if you do have, like, Geocore blocks, oh, my God, they take friggin' forever to repair when they're that damaged. They they are not easy to to keep, uh, you know, repaired unless you can put, you know, like, battery packs on your bot and then just have it heal up naturally the whole time. That is amazing when you can finally do that. Let's see, how much do I need for another cab? I think I need, like, uh, I don't know, I think it's, like, 1,500 maybe? So let's do a few more of these... These rocks. Should we do a few more of these rocks? I guess we could. I don't think we're going to get the resources we need from these, actually, to be honest. Uh, I think it's a different kind. There's really not a lot of them near my base uh, when I first start out from what I've seen in the, in the past. Blow it up. Blow it up. And one of the keys, guys, that you may not know right now, that I definitely learned the hard way, is you could have the biggest bot in the world. And you could be thinking, oh, I'm just going to wipe the floor with this stuff. Uh, with all these guys that you come against because you have all these blocks and stuff. Not the case. Actually having more weapons than blocks is the ideal situation. You want a great deal of weapons. And the more weapons you have, the better off you're going to do. Because you can destroy the enemy faster and not take as much damage. So let's come over here and we will move this thing a little closer. That way uh, we can put... What are we going to put over here? We'll put the conveyor belt there and this right here. Nope, we don't want that there. Put that there. And you can see, you can put on the conveyor belt. <laughs> it's just dancing back and forth. Stop it already. You can put on the conveyor belt even pieces of your, your bot. And a lot of people have said to do that when you do... Uh, oh, my God. Seriously, guys? How far away do I have to move that? You can put uh, you know really heavy pieces on there, and they weigh nothing. So that's kind of a cheat as well. I don't really like that too much. I hope they fix that and take that out because that's definitely probably not what they meant it to be. So let's see. I need to know how much a cab will cost. How much is one of those? Uh, where we go? GSO Cosmonaut. 2,000. Okay, well, that's not too bad. We could probably get 2,000 right now if I sold all the resources that we have. And I don't want to do that, so we're going to hold off on that. Let's move this back up. We will attach that. And we're going to go out and harvest some stuff. Actually, I think I'm going to do that in between this episode and the next. So you guys don't have to watch it. Uh, if I find any different resources that I haven't gotten before, or at least I haven't gotten on this playthrough, I will go ahead and uh, turn the camera back on so you guys can see it. I think we we chose a really good spot, to be honest, for our base. Because we're really not running into a lot of enemies over here. I think it's right on the outskirts of the uh, the green area, the, the, gr the grassland, and the mountainous region. And the mountainous region, you will get Geocore. Geocore are the big yellow blocks that are amazing. They weigh a whole bunch, and you get some really huge wills and things of that sort. Really, really good for you to have. Uh, but you're not going to go there very early on, and they usually only spawn. They usually only show up when you're in the area, like actually in the area, not near it, but in it. And so because of that, I think we're going to be better off here. I think... I think we're not going to have to worry about... Like, the desert region is one of the worst places to be for the venture guys spawn left and right. I kid you not. And it's so ridiculous. Uh, it's almost impossible to really, uh, you know, do anything with that because they, they just kill you so quickly at the beginning because they're so much better at controlling their bots than you ever will be. Maybe some of you guys are that good. I've never been that good to be able to spin on a dime 
Wow, those guys are pretty big. I don't know if we should go over here. You gotta keep an eye on the radar from my base. Because, uh, yeah, eventually... Eventually, uh... They're gonna spawn over there and they're gonna attack my base. You can see I actually destroyed some resources there because I shot them a little bit too much. Uh, should we do it? I think we're gonna do it, guys. I think we're gonna do it. And then we'll end the episode there. Blow up! Blow up! Oh, yeah! Holy crap, what did we hit that made them blow up like that? Wow, our weapons are so much more powerful. I don't know why. They shouldn't be that powerful. Come on, blow it up. Dang it. I lost a lot of stuff there. Ooh, check this out. We got one of these already. Yeah, these are boosters. Nice. What else did we get? We got another booster right there. You know, boosters aren't the greatest thing in the world, but at this uh, early stage, everything you get is just fantastic because you're going to use it. Now, we got some more lights. These are the little headlights that can go on there, so we'll pick those up. Not that I'm going to keep them, but we'll pick them up. Well, we got another radar. I guess we can put that there for now. Another weapon. We need to get back to our base and heal these pieces up because they're pretty damaged. And I will take the wheel as well. So really not that big of a not that bad of a haul. That's actually pretty nice. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit. Come on, move. And I will go ahead and fire my, my boosters, as you can see right there on the left-hand side. Or not right, left-hand side, on the right-hand side. When I fire them, you'll see the fire that comes out of them. And you want to make sure these are facing the right way, because if they're not, they're going to actually be working against you. And, you know, who wants that? That's that's not something you want. So make sure you have those on right. And, of course, they don't have very much power. You see they run out of fuel very, very easily. Later on, you can actually get fuel containers that will allow you to build up a certain amount of fuel. And then they will last for, like, four or five seconds, which will give you a nice little boost out of combat uh, if you need to. And later on, you'll get even bigger fuel tanks. But the downside to that is the bigger the fuel tank, the bigger the explosion when it is destroyed. So you have to put those someplace very very secure otherwise you will uh, regret it in the end and usually uh, on other playthroughs I actually kind of avoid those altogether because they are so you know volatile but I think we're gonna experiment with a few more of them on this one because when we finally start doing our our flying you know bot uh, you're probably gonna need some some boosters to get off the ground a little bit easier so it's definitely something we're gonna experiment with but again guys if you do enjoy these videos be sure to hit that like button subscribe Definitely leave comments down below. I'd love to hear back from you guys, and I will catch you next time.